Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy endures until the end. Well, bless God, I got a word for you found in the book of Psalms, the 97th division, where the Bible talks about a fresh oil. God gave me the word this morning as I woke up fresh. So come on and go with me as we look into the 92nd Psalm to see what David was talking about when he said fresh oil. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The book of Psalms in the 92nd division and the 10th verse, it says, But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. And as the Lord woke me up this morning and said, you know, just one word. He said fresh. And as I began to look and search the scriptures. God, what is you? What are you saying to your people today? What do you mean by fresh? What is this fresh? I was led over to this verse that I just read. You know, fresh oil from heaven. And as I began to study it and ponder it and look at the meanings of the words, when you look up the word fresh, do you know what that word means? That word simply means to grow. It means to be luxurious. It means to be fresh. It means to be green. Now, when you take that word luxurant and you look up that word luxurant in the dictionary, it's characterized by abundant growth, by yielding abundantly. And as I began to ponder about that, God took me on another journey. He took me into the New Testament in the Gospel of John, the 12th chapter and the 24th verse, where the Bible declares, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone, but if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. So this word today is for those whose year has been a challenge. This word is for those who have persevered through great trial and tribulation. This word is for those that have died a thousand deaths this year. Have you gone through a little something this year? Have you persevered? Have you kept your eyes on God? Have you kept praising him? Have you kept magnifying him? Have you kept going to church? Giving of your time, giving of your time, preaching and teaching and encouraging others. Yet, God has been, hallelujah, allowing you to go through a little something, something. So this word is for you today. God says to you, fresh oil is coming your way. So if you believe it, receive it, and let the fresh oil, as we begin to pray, be poured out on you. Jesus declared, if we ask anything in his name, he would do it. He said, if two of us agree, he would do it. He said, if his word abides in us and we abide in him, hallelujah, we shall have what we say. He went on in Job to say, if we decree and declare a thing, we shall have that thing. That thing shall come to pass. So I decree to you as the word of the Lord says, fresh oil, hallelujah, like he poured it, I gave it to David and he's no respecter of person. He's going to to give you that fresh oil today. Know that God loves you. Hallelujah. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, continue to be strong. Hallelujah. Let the fresh oil just pour out on you. Let it drip. Enough so that someone else can be, can benefit from what God is given unto you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, I praise you and I thank you and I bless you. I honor you. God, I give you the glory and all of the honor. For Father, truly thine alone is worthy to be praised. Thine alone are worthy to be exalted above all others. You are the true and the living God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the eternal God that no one can dethrone you. Hallelujah. Besides you, God, there is no other God. I love you today, Father, and I thank you for all that you have 
God. Thank you for your mercy today, my Lord. Thank you for your grace today. Thank you for your steadfast love. Thank you for your only begotten Son, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, who paid the price for our sin. Truly, Jesus is Lord. Truly, he is the Lamb of God. Truly, he is Emmanuel. Truly, he is the Rose of Sharon, the bright, hallelujah, and morning star. I love you today for Emmanuel. Hallelujah. God with us. Truly, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hallelujah. And we truly beheld his glory. What a mighty God we serve. What an excellent God we serve. God who can do what you do. There is none like you. And so, Father, I give you glory. I give you praise, magnificent God. I give you honor, God. Oh, Father, if I had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough. So, God, I'm going to just use the one I have right now, and I'm going to magnify you. I'm going to glorify you. I'm going to lift you up higher. Hallelujah. Higher and higher. Hallelujah. Above all glory and honor and praises be unto you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb and worthy of our praise. Be exalted, great one. Be exalted above all. Hallelujah. Be exalted in the earth. Be exalted, Father, in the heavens. Be exalted in your people. And Father, as I come forward today, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that the word that was given would be manifest in the life of your people, Father God. God, you're ready to give out some fresh oil, Father. <laughs> so I pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice would receive that blessing that you're ready to give out today. God, revive them. God, give them more joy. Give them more strength. Give them the ability to do what they cannot do on their own. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that fresh oil is sweeping through the land. Fresh oil is sweeping through the houses. Fresh oil is sweeping through the airways, God, whoever is listening, God, let them receive it in the mighty name of Jesus, God, and we'll give you glory, we'll give you honor, we'll give you praise. Lord, I lift up the man of God to you, Father. I ask in the mighty name of Jesus a fresh oil for him as well. Pour it out on him, God. The women of God, pour it out on him, the fresh oil from heaven, Father God. Help them to do what they cannot do in their own strength, Father God. Help them, hallelujah, God, to go forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Supply every single one of their needs, I pray in the matchless name of Jesus, God, and give them the desires of their heart. In the blessed name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. You know, I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. 
I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.